Do things all of a sudden get louder in the course of that, or did some blockage clear from my hearing? Anyway, guided by voices on Matador Records from the LP uh, Brain Candy, Kids in the Hall, and uh, that was called Postal Blowfish. We've got a session tonight from the Radar Brothers, and the first track from them is called Wise Mistake of You. <laughs> Yesterday afternoon we had debut sessions for you from Backwater and Dumb, and tonight it's uh, Radar Brothers, The, and that's called Wise Mistake of You. I mean, you're not going to get this stuff anywhere else, let's be honest. And uh, I was going to say it wasn't that great, because quite clearly it was great, but then I thought words like great are obviously very much misused and overused on programmes like this. So I've started stealing things from Radio 3. I've been listening to their record review programmes on Saturday morning when I've been driving into London. So uh, that wasn't just great, it was positively phosphorescent, which I heard something being described as. Uh, was it last Saturday or the Saturday before? But there'll be more of this. You'll be able to spot them, I'm sure. This is state of the art. Positively phosphorescent, indeed.
impressively articulated. That's state-of-the-art and cobbled, which is K-O-B-O-L-D. Not quite sure how old that is, but it could be a month or so old. It could be brand new, for all I know. It's from an EP called uh, Nystagmus, which I'm not quite sure what Nystagmus means. In fact, I have no idea at all, but it sounds like something that could be corrected by an optician. And uh, if you want to send us any faxes, and people are already doing so, and uh, they're most gratefully received, of course, brightens up the evening for me, uh, 0645 110 100. 0645 110 100. In fact, here's one from uh, Ruth out of the band Poe and uh, from Rutland Records and she says I haven't heard anything on Radio 1 FM but my internet indie pop sources are muttering about new 1 FM schedules with you on Monday to Thursday 8.30 to 10. Well that's sort of half right and half wrong Ruth. Uh, the truth of the matter is it's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday nights from 8.30 to 10.30. Uh, an exciting new challenge and uh, uh, on Monday night between 8.30 and 10.30 my chum Andy Kershaw is going to be uh, doing his programme in that spot so uh, a good week for all of us I think and uh, this is, where are we now? This is East River Pipe. to 99 FM Radio 1 
Hey, that's uh, nice. That's uh, Jerry Van Roy, and I suppose we'll settle for that. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but that's as close as I'm going to get, I think. On Crippled Dick Hot Wax Records, uh, from an LP called at 250 miles per hour. That was the great bank robbery, and it's kind of soundtrack music, I suppose, for what were called, when, when I was our lab, films that were described as rather saucy. And uh, How Short Is The Time For Love is the title of film, uh, the film from which that was taken. Before that, it was East River Pipe on Shinkan Sen Records from their LP Mel. I am a small mistake. This is Sentry Meets Manasseh. Luminous. That's the last Radio 3 description I've got for you in the course of this programme, but I shall gather some more next Saturday morning and throw them about in a willful sort of manner during next weekend's programmes, in which, incidentally, we have sessions for you from Reaches Behind Him for a Piece of Paper. Uh, on Saturday, Jubilee All-Stars and Mogwai making their debut on the programme, uh, sessions from both of those, and a session, also a debut session on Sunday night from Dream City Film Club, who, uh, in most of their records, have rude words, actually, so <laughs> interesting to see how we get around that one, but uh, that's something to... Uh, a bridge to, a hurdle to uh, leap when the time comes, I think. This is Tonut.
Humans Approach, to give it its full title. Don't you, Humans Approach? That's Toe Nuts, seven-inch single on Mute America. Anything else I can tell you about it? I think probably not. As I'm sure you know, the new single from The Wedding Present is Montreal, and uh, one of the extra tracks that you get is a version of Sports Car. And Citizen Gedge, well, not very conspicuous in this version of it. <laughs> I made that one up myself, actually. The Wedding Present, that sounds rather good, I have to say. On Cooking Vinyl Records, and that's one of the extra tracks on the single Montreal, a version of the Sports Car. After the news, something rather noisy. 97 to 99 FM, Radio 1, Newsbeat. A man's under arrest after a 16-year-old boy was killed at a rave in East London. An 18-year-old woman was also injured after an argument at Chimes Nightclub in Clapton. Prayers have been said for the family of murdered teenager Nicola Dixon. She was killed on New Year's Eve in an alleyway near Holy Trinity Church in Sutton Coldfield. Church warden Paul Duckers. The mood in the church today is sombre. We are very, very conscious of the God's love surrounding Nicola Dixon's family. And there were indeed in the church today some of her classmates and some friends. The freezing weather has claimed another four lives. Police in Dorset have found the body of a 47-year-old woman who was last seen chasing after her dog in the snow. Negotiations are going on to free four prison officers held hostage by six inmates at Mountjoy Jail in Dublin. June Kelly reports. As the standoff at Mountjoy continues, the prison governor, John Lonergan, has been leading negotiations with the inmates who are holding four of his staff in the segregation unit of the jail, which doesn't house terrorist prisoners. The prisoners are armed with makeshift weapons, but none of the hostages is thought to have been injured. The inmates are described as dangerous prisoners who are normally kept in a high-security wing. Eurotunnel says coaches will be allowed back on shuttle services from tomorrow. There'll be a limited service running between Folkestone and Calais. Three men thrown off a plane returning from Goa could face prosecution and a bill for thousands of pounds. Lawrence Inwood reports. The three passengers became abusive. Despite repeated requests from the crew, they refused to sit quietly. The captain of the flight decided to divert to the nearest airport, Vienna. The three men and one of their wives ended up spending the night in police cells before making their own way back to England. Police at Manchester Airport say they intend to interview the three. The airline could also sue for the cost of diverting to Vienna. In the day's football, Manchester United, Everton and Bradford won their FA Cup third round matches. Charlton drew with Newcastle. Tennis, Tim Henmans lost the ATP Tour final in Qatar. He was beaten two sets to one by Jim Currier. A King Gardner has made his neighbour's day by digging up their ring, lost 13 years ago. John Bradley discovered the ring given four decades ago as he worked in his garden. Radio 1 News Beats. I'm in panel. Radio 1. More new music.
As is so often the case, this is Alec Empire on this occasion trading as ECP and uh, it's on Riot Beast Records 12-inch EP. And another fax here, this one from uh, Ed Wen, formerly Ed Shred of Chocolate and Stupids and Sink and Bad Dress Sense and so on. And he says, amongst other things, uh, you should have received a copy of our latest single for Out of Step Records. It's called Sale Copy, only not for review, and contains five songs, all of which can be filed under what John Walters, former producer, used to refer to as The Usual Racket whenever I phoned him up over the years to get another session. It's going to be the last release on Out of Step because Pinnacle, Out of Step's parent company, got bought out by Zomba Music late last year and had a bit of a shake-up with regard to their small dependent labels. As a result, we're label-less at present. This is Chocolate he's talking about. And we'll greatly appreciate a word or two to that effect if you decide to play the new single. Played it yesterday afternoon, actually, Ed, here on the nation's number one for fun. And then he goes on. In the meantime, we'll be sticking out a CD compilation of all of our recent vinyl-only releases, uh, plus four or five new recordings, and that's going to be on Rumble Strip Records, run by our good northern chump, Chris Petty, from Hooten 3 Car, who are also now without a label, as they were on Out of Step uh, with us. I mean, that's uh, the record level Out of Step. And I hope that both of those situations will be rectified at the earliest opportunity. Here's another one from uh, Radar Brothers. We have... Actually, we do have some information about them, but it's uh, pretty paltry, I have to say. It says... uh, They've just ended a European tour and are back in the US recording. A new single should be out in the spring. Well, whoopee. This is Yukon. Take an hour and lose it Hot water on, let it scald your face. You're the one who could lose it. Nestle into superfluous person's hair.
Wake up. It's 1997. Already chucked your New Year's resolution? Kidding yourself you're fit to drop? I'm Zoe Ball, and from Monday, Radio 1 will be dragging you into the new year with Body Wrap, the guide to surviving your body. So whether you're feeling the worst wear after non-stop partying or suffering from the winter blues, don't be bodily challenged. Tune into Body Wrap, starting Monday on 97 to 99 FM, Radio 1. I think I'll stay bodily challenged, actually. We have only one enemy. Call go 13. Kill him.
and uh, as a joke, you know, uh, wore a bit thin, for me anyway, when I was about eight years old. And then before that, it was uh, the Radar Brothers in session, and that track's called Yukon. Incidentally, the, the track that I played you there just now is the Return of the Revenge of the Death of the Legacy of Golgol 13 by Dobie. And the Radar Brothers played a tune called Yukon, and their lineup is this. It's uh, Jim Putnam, guitar and vocals, Senan Williams uh, on bass, and Steve Goodfriend at the drums. And what have we got for you now? Oh, yeah, this is uh, Delphium. That's Delphium on uh, Outsider Records, 7-inch EP called Breeding Bad Blood. And the track I played you was Burning Our Fields. And should you wish to get in touch with uh, Delphium, whether it's to say with the music as the millennium approaches, or can you send us a photograph of yourselves in your underpants? Their address is uh, outs well, it's Outsider Records, 10 Yarborough Road, spelt as you might imagine, Lincoln, Links of all things, LN11HS. That's uh, Outsider Records, 10 Yarborough Road, Lincoln, Links, LN11HS. And uh, sometime in the new year, I'm looking very much forward to... Uh, a debut session from Hamburg's Deutschmark Bob and the Deficits. And uh, as soon as we can get in touch with them, we'll probably sort this out. And in an effort to kind of establish my credibility with Deutschmark Bob and his mates, I thought I'd send them uh, an example of some of the fabulous work that I've done over the years. And uh, when I was searching around for this, I found it well, pretty difficult to find any, to be perfectly honest. But I did come up with this from a Medicine Head LP that the pig and I produced. I mean, in that, we sat in the studio and made helpful suggestions while the engineer did all the work. And uh, from the LP Old Bottles New Medicine, this is pretty neat, I have to say, and should be played, well, as loud as you can, you know, play it without annoying your neighbours, of course. This is Fire Under Mountain.
Well, it's one to be proud of, I think. Lo-fi, some 30 years or so before anybody thought of the term. That's Medicine Head, Fire Under Mountain, from an LP on Repertoire Records, formerly on Dandelion, the LP called Old Bottles, New Medicine. And all I can remember about the session is that throughout most of it, uh, the guitar amp was uh, threatening to retire to spend more time in the country with its family, and uh, John Fiddler, who was playing it, said, uh, or playing the guitar anyway, said, uh, you know, we need to do something about this. And I said, no, don't, no, no, don't, we mustn't. It sounds perfect the way it is, and indeed it did. Uh, the one four. Fives record for amongst other people uh, Peekaboo Records. In fact, I think one of them actually runs Peekaboo Records in Austin or wherever it is in Texas. And uh, also on the same label are the Teen Titans. <laughs> Intelligent drum and bass, or I'm a Dutchman, Gothverdomme. That's uh, Teen Titans on Peekaboo Records from Austin, Texas, an EP called More Songs, Less Music, and uh, Bug Bite, the title of that. And this is Porter Ricks, or is it Thomas Kerner, his real name? Anyway, Nautical Dove.
there is much strangeness about us. Those are the gentle people on Reflex Records, the Apex Twins label, of course. The LP is called Soundtracks for Living, and that was Dream. And segueing perfectly uh, into it was Porter Ricks on Chain Reaction Records, an LP called Biokinetics, and a track called uh, Nautical Dub. And the LP comes in one of those, I don't know if you've seen them, uh, perhaps got records in them already, in those kind of little tins. I'm not quite sure where they come from, but is there obviously an alternative to the usual packaging for CDs? The only problem being that they don't always match up, and they tend to fall involuntarily apart, but I'm sure the technology will be improved as time goes by. And uh, some more faxes here, one from Simon Parker of Blackburn, which is rather difficult to read, but it says, please say hello to, it looks like Statio, which seems unlikely, but I suppose it's possible, and uh, wish us good luck for our GCSE mocks tomorrow, and uh, play us a record. Well, I shall certainly do that, Simon Parker, and uh, of course in my days we didn't do mocks, probably just, I can't remember what we did instead, probably just got beaten and sent into the exams and, and, and told to get on with it, But because you got beaten for most things in those days. Uh, where are we now? And here's one from uh, Norman Hesford, a fairly regular correspondent, and he says, what does he have to say? Oh, he says, you were spot on with your guess about uh, nystagmus earlier on in the programme, because it's defined in his dictionary as rapid involuntary movement of the eye. So a happy guess there. This is uh, Glenn Brown and King Toby, version 78 style. I think this is another one of those records, because I haven't played it for a week or so, but another one of those tracks that's got some spooling in it, you know, backwards spooling, which we always like, don't we? We're running up your mouth and then you don't know what you're talking about. You see a little brother walking on the street and when you see him look neat, your heart starts to run complete. But you got to love him, love him, you don't want to, you know. You see, to me, this time of creation.
Mm, looks as though I was wrong about the spooling. We've got a fine track for all of that. King, uh, no, it's King Toby and Glenn Brown, uh, version 78 style on Blood and Fire Records from the LP Termination. And uh, staying as we with uh, whatever the thing's called again, uh, Nystagmus, is that what I said? Uh, yeah, Nystagmus. Uh, my thanks to Rory Nicholl of Lapworth in Solihull for sending me more information than anybody we could possibly require on the condition. And uh, this is Apples in Stereo, because we've not had any twangy guitars for a while. And this tune is called To Love the Vibration of the Bulb. Not very twangy, but a bit. Beavers just gagging to tie that knot are Colin and Michelle. Are you there, Colin? Yeah. Are you there, Michelle? Yeah. Here we go, Col. Do your worst. Will you marry me? Well, well, Michelle? Yeah. Are you there, lad, on in your balcony position? Yeah, well, basically, I've got my eye out for Totty. Oi, love! Oi! Oi, love ya! Love ya! Hey! Hey, you ever seen one of these before? Oh, thank you. Right, lad. What? Thanks very much. Pleasure. The Radio 1 Breakfast Show. Back tomorrow at 7, 97 to 99 FM Radio 1.
worth digging out and playing, I think. That's by Chews, and uh, Chews come from Denmark. Actually, it's somebody called Lassa Steen, as far as I can tell. And Nailfile was the title of that, from a 12-inch on UFO London uh, Records. Another one of those which I should have heard several months ago, but with one thing and another, and I got around to hearing in the past week. Before that, it was uh, Apples in... Well, in between, it was a good reason for staying in bed and listening to your radio tomorrow morning. And then before that, it was Apples in Stereo on Elephant 6 Records, from an LP called Science Fair, with an E on the end of it, to love the vibration of the bulb, the somewhat puzzling title of it. And uh, facts here from, is it Kane Clover? It looks like that. And it says, where can I get hold of a copy of that rather loud record by ECB uh, on Ribiche or something like that, did you say? The address of the label would be very helpful. Well, I haven't got an address for it, but if you send me your address and another fax, I'll find out and pass on the information. It shows how bad my diction's getting, too, because uh, it's not ECB, but ECP. I mean, P for Percy. And... Uh, uh, Ribiche is actually, and I said this, is Riot Beats. Now, how does... Well, I mean, I can see how it might do, but on the other hand, Riot Beats, said in the correct BBC English, does not come out as Ribiche, or certainly shouldn't, anyway. And what have I got for you now? Oh, yeah, the uh, Radar Brothers, they're in session, and this is called Stay.
Well, it's so good, isn't it? What an excellent session this has been. Stay, that's called. Uh, those are the Radar Brothers. And it's the kind of thing you feel as though it ought to be rendered in liquid form or something so you could rub it all over yourself and into your, in my case, fat little body. Uh, what a nice thing that would be. This is a track from a double LP on Jesus Christ Records from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Uh, it's two different LPs they've obviously released previously but now brought together as a kind of packaging, marketing strategies all around. And this uh, particular LP is called Six Days Till Bellas, whatever Bellas may be. And if you know, don't write in and uh, tell me because I'm not that curious. Although, cur actually, knowing that uh, you have considerable access to a great number of scientific, you know, of, of like a great deal of information, because whenever I ask any questions on any of these programmes, some listener will fax in and tell me a great deal about, uh, more than I really want to know, actually, about whatever it is that I happen to have raised at the time. So, here's a poser for you, those of you who've got access to kind of, uh, you know, computer files on, like, everything. Um, I was looking at a book uh, that I found uh, at my bedside, actually, only last night, and uh, there was a rather faded black and white picture of something in... Uh, Iran, except the book was so old that it was back in the days when it was still called Persia, and uh, it's a building which looked like no building that I've ever seen in my entire life before. It's built in the uh, 10th century, 11th century, something like that, and uh, it's called Ribat i Malik. That's R A B I T, then uh, the letter I, then M A L I K. And I should like to know more about it and see more pictures of it. So if you have access to any information about Ribat i Malik, you can send it on to me. And I think Al William would be quite interested in it as well. And it's one of those things which, in the way that, you know, like elderly men do become obsessed with things, I may make it my life's work to actually go and see Rabat in Malik in person because, as I say, I've never seen anything remotely like it in my life. Anyway, this is Pipe and a tune called, perhaps not inappropriately, You're Soaking In It. Published by Scabby Music, I've just noticed, on Jesus Christ Records in North Carolina. That's Pipe, and you're soaking in it. 97 to 99 FM, <laughs> Radio 1, Newsbeat. Bomb disposal experts in Northern Ireland have made safe a device after a security alert near the South Armagh border. The RUC said it contained 250 pounds of homemade explosives. A man's under arrest after a teenager was killed at a rave in East London. An 18-year-old woman was also injured after an argument at Chimes Nightclub in Clapton. Here's Clive Hunton. The 16-year-old schoolboy, who's not been named, was shot dead in the middle of a packed dance floor. Police arrived within minutes and found a gun. A man in his 20s has been arrested.
arrested and another suspect is still being sought. At this stage, officers say the motive for the attack isn't clear. Three British holidaymakers could face prosecution and a hefty fine after they shouted and swore at passengers and crew on their plane. The flight was forced to divert to Vienna where the trio were locked up overnight. Another Scottish climber is in hospital after a near miraculous escape. The man fell 600 feet and is in hospital with serious injuries. In the day's football, Manchester United, Everton and Bradford won their FA Cup third round matches. Charlton Drew with Newcastle. Radio 1 Newsbeats. I'm Ian Panel. Radio 1. More new music. Another record on Crackle Records of Leeds, an EP called Setting New Standards in Apathy, by a band called Don Fisher, which seems to be written as one word rather than two, and one of four tracks. It's called This Time, and one member of the band used to be in Chopper, and another used to be in Gan. Beyond that, I know nothing about, and don't know where they come from, although judging from the pictures on the back of the sleeve, I think I've seen them in the...